What's up guys? Today I'm going to be going over Chopper Basics. Uh, I got the webcam hooked up for the uh, the mouse. And then I have the a script running for the keyboard to show. So I'm a big visual learner and if you guys are out there as well then hopefully this helps you. But if you hang out you will learn to fly. I guess I'll start off by doing the uh, obligatory show my settings bit. Um, I have a Razer Death Adder at 1800 DPI. Uh, my mouse sensitivity for vehicles is 14. And I fly inverted, completely subjective. Do what you feel is the most natural. Um, that's, that's totally up to you. Um, for key bindings, everything is default except for left alt is pitch down and space is pitch up i'll get more into this later in the video um it'll get you out of some tight spots especially when you're running out of mouse real estate uh, this is just a basic demonstration but if you're diving on something uh, normally you'd have to pull your mouse back to pull the chopper up where is this i can just hit space bar and the nose will go up on its own and i don't have to even move my mouse so really helpful. Um, like I said, I'll get more into that when we uh, get to that bit of the tutorial. But anyway, I recommend you guys set things up like so. Make sure you clear fire. That's default to spacebar. And other than that, let's get going. So a big uh, thing I see um, when people first start flying and when I started flying myself is that left and right with the mouse is not left and right in the chopper. Left and right in the chopper is A and D. So remember that and then think of left and right with your mouse as tilting your head. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's a good mental note to have when you're going into this. That way you can <laughs> not get so confused. I mean it seems like a lot at first so just uh, keep that in your mind and this will be a little bit more easy. Alrighty, let's actually start getting off the ground. Um, I recommend starting in third person just so you can see the whole body of your chopper. Um, it's much easier to get an idea of where you are uh, and where the ground is when you're in third person compared to first person. You know, you have a pretty narrow field of view in this uh, when you're in first person, so I recommend starting in third person. Um, so the basics, the very basics, W is up. S is down, left is A, right is D. So just practice with those few simple things. And then if you bound your keyboard like I did, we don't even have to touch the mouse yet. We can still just fly with our keyboard. So Alt will be nose down, and we can kind of hold our altitude with space. Level off, turn. We can put our nose back down. I can go all the way back down the runway. And this is where I'd start using the mouse, is to level out the chopper there. You really don't have to use much of the mouse um, to fly. It's more for your fine adjustments, where the keyboard will do uh, the bigger adjustments, like your big pitch, your turns, uh, your throttle, stuff like that. So those are the very basics. Keep practicing those, and then we'll move on. Alrighty, now that you're feeling comfortable with the chopper um, on the runway and everything, let's actually start to fly a path. Um, what I did when I first started learning was I found a road and just followed it. So this helps get you uh, accustomed to the feel of how much input you need to give the chopper to get it to do what you want. So I'll just follow this road here. Um, it's a, it's a good start to flying choppers as you don't want to just be flying uh, over the top of stuff. Anybody can just kind of float up in the air, you know. If you don't have any like set goal or set path, there's no way to know that you're actually getting better. So I recommend just trying to fly a path. Um, just do circles around the test range until you get comfortable with it. And once you do switch her into first person and 
do the same loop. Always remember it's okay, you know, to switch into third person if you think you might be getting close to hitting something. Um, that it will save you way more than you think, so don't feel like uh, you're not getting the hang of something if you have to switch to third person. I actually do it all the time to keep myself from running into things, so keep practicing and you will get better. Alrighty, now that you have the basics down, I'll go more into depth on how the uh, the spacebar binding will help you. Um, you can see, for example, if I was diving on this tank right here, rather than having to start pulling up with my mouse, you can see my hand is still in the exact same place it was a second ago. So all my big movements are on the keyboard, and my my mouse hand is doing purely the aiming to hit the tank. So this will help you a lot, and it will help you get out of some sticky situations. If you're going in a little too hot, uh, I can't do that. I can hardly get that with the mouse. And I'm, my mouse was off the mouse pad. Now if I try to do that same dive with the space bar, I never have to move my mouse, and I was going at the maximum speed of pulling my nose up. So this has just been the tip of the iceberg. Uh, I hope it helped some of you guys out. Um, remember, just try to practice your little route and uh, you will get better. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what I could have done better in the video. If this worked, if the, the hand cam was helpful or anything, leave a comment below and I'll talk to you guys later.